What's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> I know I look like a deflated balloon compared to this afternoon. Uh, I woke up in a really good mood in my workout. I was in good spirits and um, then the air deflated. <laughs> so uh, it's funny how the universe works though because <clears throat> I found out one, that October will uh, consist of two full moons. We're going into a full moon now and October will also have a full moon at the end of the month, being my birthday month. That's like weird. And um, compared to the little psychic influence, it's supposed to be an extraordinary time for change and new beginnings for me. So we'll see about that. But um, it's actually starting off as a stressor. And I say the universe is funny because <clears throat> I'm starting my Right now, it's a five-part series on anxiety, and um, this evening, I'm getting ready to do a talk about anxiety and panic attacks, and um, yeah, couldn't come at a better time. So, thank you for rocking with me. I hope that you've uh, gotten something out of my videos thus far. Um, I just finished up a short series on uh, the Stud Life, Stud Chronicles. And like I said, now I'm going to go into a five-part series on uh, anxiety. Tonight I'm going to do anxiety and panic attacks. Uh, the next episode will feature anxiety and diet. That's very important. I'm still learning. Anxiety and socializing. Uh, anxiety and love. And anxiety and understanding some of our dreams. A lot of that can be altered or brought on by medications prescribed for the anxiety, etc. So, get comfortable. Get ready to uh, maybe be moved emotionally. And um, I hope that this is a judgment-free zone because I give it to you raw 100% of the time. Peace. Appreciate you rocking with me. Again, uh, my name is Facerlin. Some know me as Sean. Some know me as Smooth. Whatever the case may be. Thank you for coming to peep in, check out, or faithfully follow uh, my YouTube progress. So, tonight is the first of a five-part series on anxiety. Um, I chose to do anxiety in extension to the mental health uh, series that I did because although I can couple it as mental health, I don't have schizophrenia, I don't have bipolar disorder, I don't have um, associative disorder. So I can't really speak on all those disorders to an extent uh, or in depth because I am not 100% uh, familiar. Whereas generalized anxiety disorder has been a diagnosis for me it's me. There go that one yarn. Let's hope it's just one. Um, <clears throat> I've been dealing with uh, the treatment for anxiety since I was about 20 years old, I believe. And my doctor, um, he had difficulty really calling it what it was because I was seeing a family practitioner. Um, it was years before I decided to seek treatment as far as a psychiatrist or going to any mental health center. One of the reasons for not uh, seeking the mental health services is because I would have had to deal directly with people who I also worked with, and I just knew that that was going to be a major conflict. So, 
that did not happen for a while. So my doctor would see me when I would be like in these uh, panic states and uh, having my panic attacks real bad, which is the first part of the anxiety series, anxiety and panic attacks. So he was leaning towards uh, the bipolar disorder just because what he was kind of first seeing me as. And over time, we were able to recognize that it was actually um, panic and anxiety and that I was not bipolar. Um, although the two are very, very, very similar. I know people who suffer from bipolarness, from bipolar disorder and sometimes our emotions, our reactions are pretty congruent. Um, something that I've been diagnosed with lately and I did not put that down there, was uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. I had a um, therapist actually recently tell me that he feels like um, that should be on my diagnosis and that maybe people have looked it over for whatever reason. But in having some deep conversations with him, I was just able to kind of show, uh, you know, how things were going constantly in my life and not just in the midst of a storm. And that's when he came up with the diagnosis about, uh, you know, the PTSD. And when I look at my life and I look at my trauma and really when I was doing my autobiography, I could really see how um, that's relevant. So. <clears throat> like I said, anxiety itself is horrible. When you mix in those panic attacks, it's even worse. The panic comes because you get in your mind that you have to fix the problem right now. You don't listen to your faith in God. You don't listen to your faith in yourself. You just fall to shambles. And for me, the panic attack is magnified because not only do I plan for whatever is currently wrong to fail, I plan for everything in my life to fail from that one obstacle. And there's been times where I've actually created and manifested just that. I got what I was expecting, in other words. And I dropped all the way down in a dark hole from one setback. So here I am at a point in my life where I climbed out of that deep hole all by myself and I'm just praying to God that I don't let this one obstacle take me right back down there. <sighs> it's not a good moment, but I'm going to try to embrace my faith more than my panic. Sometimes the truth is, <clears throat> I feel like the panic attacks are worse than what it would be like to have a whole heart attack because... <clears throat> At least during and after a heart attack, um, you get medical assistance. Nine times out of ten, you get taken to a hospital and uh, a variety of professionals work to stabilize you. Whereas with a panic attack, no one comes and no one cares and no one helps. They say they'll help. They say they care. I'm sorry, I'm just being real. But unless you deal with it yourself, nobody knows. And I advocate for mental health all the time because when this gets out of hand, um, it's when you get crime, it's when you get um, shooting, stabbings, suicide. Not everybody knows how to handle it. And even though um, I handle mine internally, usually by isolating, um, I try to sleep it off. Uh, it's different for me. And I want to keep it that way because I don't like how I had a lot of rage when I was younger. Because you're just, you're fighting the oppression and the depression, and you fight it, the anxious thoughts, 
in the trap of something sitting on your chest telling you that you can't and you won't beat this and nothing is going to work. It'll never get fixed. So you might as well die. And I know that's not true. And every time I get this feeling of nobody's there, nobody cares, but I know for a fact that uh, every job I've worked, every place I've lived, there are people that will be hurt to get the news. So I try to struggle and fight through it. And some people who don't suffer from anxiety will try to minimize and say, it's not that serious. Just come up with a plan. Um, Self-defeat is usually always going to be worse than the real issue. So, yeah. I had to put this one together in pieces. For one, something's going on with my memory. And for two, uh, as you can see, I'm not in the best place. We're coming up on a full moon. Um, it's a week before my vacation. I mean, not a week, a month. And um, my engine is out of my vehicle. Um, pretty much everybody, including family, uh, has declined to help me. So uh, that's okay. Um, it's going to make me a stronger person. I'm the one who ruined my credit. I'm the one who didn't make the best decision with my finances. Um, it's been a rough life. Part of it's been from being a single mom. The other part is just feeling like <sighs> I had to do what I had to do to maintain my uh, sanity as well. So, uh, <laughs> anxiety and panic attacks, episode one. Um, I've been having panic attacks for the last couple hours. Um, the worst thing you can do is have an expectation. And I'm better about it because I don't get upset when somebody says no, when I know that they've said yes before. And if things was different, that they would probably say yes. But, um, after you get so many no's and your back's up against the wall, you know, I climbed out of my hole and being blessed to be working all through COVID, um, lights stay paid, rent stay paid, I was on my game. And now having to make a way to get a new vehicle with horrible credit, um, it's going to put me in a difficult position. And I definitely don't want to be in that position right before my birthday. But it is what it is. We hear... Um, I'm trying to live to be an example, so I'm not going to let this take me out. The next episode, as mentioned, will be about anxiety and diet. And I promise you, I'm still learning about how important that is. Um, it seems like I always gravitate towards sweets. And sweets is one of the biggest enemies. So, appreciate you watching. Um... I hope you're okay with my genuineness. And um, trust me, you will see me smile again. And I'll have the victory. But right now, I feel defeated and I want to go to a dark space and never come out. Make sure you like, comment, ask some questions. Someone told me I should set up a Q&A. So let me know how you would want that to go. Um, subscribe. Peace.